stuff. So. Hey y'all, what's up? Short one today, an actual short one. So recently I had to play uh, at a relative's uh, memorial service and um, one of the songs they requested, Amazing Grace, was, um, there's a million arrangements of this song, but I, this is a, an arrangement I, I made that, um, it's super simple, but it came in handy because I didn't really have a lot of time to work out or like a fancy arrangement so this is pretty reliable and it's gotten you know over the years I, I've used it when I need to play Amazing Grace and the, the key the trick of it is I'm just using a James Taylor trick where he does it on D but he's usually capoed up to F but the, the line in D you know. so what I'm doing finger picking it thumb plays the bass in the first two fingers play the top two strings but in this case we have to um, act as our own capo so it's in D um, That'll be lick one. I'll just write that out. So once you get that, you have the whole thing. That's the whole sequence. Thumb, thumb, fingers, hammer, the pinky. Again, play the E and A so we can once more hammer on. So it's kind of it's a little complex, I guess. You can grab the sus, you know, up by adding your pinky up one. So it's a cool like thing in D if you're in D. Move up to this chord. Or do it in D. You know. So obviously my first string is I broke my first string and had no replacement, so I had to put on a, a um, electric string, so it's sounding a little weird. It's hitting the fret. I need some fret work too. 
once you get that, it's the whole thing. The basic idea is these major pent hammer-ons. So you're playing two notes from D major pent. A and E. And we're hammering on the F sharp. And you can also do that. like um, if you go to D pent right here yeah, this D pent. it's like all that stuff extension and then the riff again but this time the thumb is hitting the A because it goes B minor to A B minor A and then back to D but I resolution of the G and then back to the D and at the end you can do a super delayed resolution um, A right from the A we go up a half step we resolve to the D but you go the chord goes up a half step to B flat flat six two more frets to C, and then two more frets to the D. It's all major pen. Um, you could do drop D. I don't even, you, you could drop the D and work in the low D. I don't really do that. You know, that makes it that much easier so you don't have to change tuning if you're playing this in the middle of the set. And uh, it's very straightforward. It's a very usable lick. James Taylor, of course, came up with it. And he usually capos uh, third fret. So he's playing the D like this. Like It's an F, but he's playing it like a D chord with the capo. So. That's why his guitar sounds so. Which you can do, you know, you can do your own capo and then form like an awkward D chord with the other fingers. Not always practical.
hard to get quickly. But if you ever have a song, you know, with some simple chords, like F instead of playing like that, you can, you know, same with A, you can take the A, do it up here. Which here comes the sun does. But you could do it without the capo. little practice because it's an awkward shape but anyway it's a good uh, arrangement of amazing grace to have uh, you know in case you need it for whatever gigs or whatever solo um, it, it works good solo or with a singer I played it with a singer but we did one chorus I played by myself so I used that and then I just played the chords while the singer did the melody short little uh, change of direction <laughs> 